Hi everyone, Rob here at Power Learning Solutions again, and today we are continuing our look at how to build your own courses using the Canvas Learning Management System. And now we're going to take a look uh, away from creating content pages, and we're going to start looking at uh, how to create assignments. And it's actually quite easy using Canvas to do this. I'm simply going to go to the Assignments tab here by clicking on Assignments on the left-hand navigation bar. And you'll note when we get in there that I don't have any assignments actually created at this point in time in here. It's a blank slate for me. So what we'll do is we'll set up a couple of assignments that we can work with. Now I can create assignment groups if I want. Uh, sometimes I have assignments that are grouped together like part one, two, or three of the same assignment. Uh, uh, or sometimes I have them all separate. So I'm just going to create a group here now. I'll show you how to group them together. So I'm going to call this ISD project. So I can have my general assignments for the course and then I can have the main ISD project which I have some students working on right now. Now I'm going to actually add an assignment here and for the course where we have the ISD project, the first assignment was actually an essay assignment where they uh, submitted a proposal for, uh, for this. So I'm going to create this assignment here. And in this case, I'm going to set it up as a Dropbox where they can actually upload their file to me and I'll configure however many points I want for this. So the assignment name is going to be ISD project proposal. Now I can copy paste in a description here. Uh, this is going to be needs assessment and proposal paper. I'm not going to worry about uh, the formatting on this here now because this is just for demonstration purposes. I will give this assignment um, 10 points. Let's say it's worth 10 points. I'm going to put it under the uh, assignments group that I set up for ISD project. I'm going to display my grade as points. Now I can set this up as do not count towards the final grade, but in this case it is going to count towards the final grade. Scroll on down some more options here. This is going to be uh, an online submission. So I'll leave it as that, and it's going to be a file upload. I want them to upload a Word doc or a PDF. Uh, I'm not going to bother with restricting this. It's not a group assignment. I'm not going to bother setting any of that up right now, but it is possible to do that. I'm going to assign this to everyone. I can set a due date on this assignment here. Uh, so I could uh, bring up the calendar option here to set the due date, and I'll set it as February 28th. There we go, and it automatically picks end of the day and save and publish. Okay, my assignment is set up and created. Okay, so now we can see that we have one assignment already in place here. I'm going to set up just one more sample assignment. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to set it up as a Dropbox. This is going to be one where I would enter the grades for students, but they're not going to actually submit anything because it's going to be an external project, perhaps their final ISD project where they're going to create their own sample courses using Canvas. And I'm going to review those and I'm just going to set up a placeholder assignment here where I would actually upload their final grade and their feedback. So I've gotten into the create new assignment window. I'm going to give this a name. ISD final project. I'll just give it some sample text right now. Now this is going to be worth a lot more, so I'll give that 40%. Assignment group is going to be ISD project. Display as points. Now, submission type, in this case, I'm going to simply say no submission. And again, I could establish a due date for this. I'm not going to bother at this point. 
And that's how you set up uh, some basic assignments using Canvas.